What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me going over the 415 maintenance and event notice to let you guys know what's coming to Grand Cross this week. Let's hop in guys, and let's see what we got going on. It's the 415 update and maintenance notice, this is going to be from 6pm to 8pm PDT, so convert to your time zone guys to know exactly when the update's going to be available, and this is, again, it's on the uh, 15th, uh, uh, 415. Um, moving into the actual update though guys, we do have the brand new Mark II Valenti, the one that's good on the Radix. Tasker Demonic Beast. So the thing is with Valenti guys is I made my video talking about the should you summon for the character. If you guys are in a situation where you do need, you know, a ton of help on Ratatoster and you want to actually clear for it and you are an end game player, let me specify that you got to be an end game player to be able to do it, right? Um, then I do think this character is worth it. Other than that though, might not be too much value from the banner itself and all that, you know, it, it's not like super insane or anything. So yeah, that's pretty much Valenti, just like my little like TLDR right there. Uh, full Metal Engineer, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Valenti of Obsession. Uh, for the new content here, guys, in terms of what we got, we got the 7 Catastrophe to Special Disaster Battle or the uh, Hideout Renovation. And these are going to be where you get these uh, cards. Um, this is going to increase the uh, basic stats of allies of the 7 Catastrophes characteristic by M% and increases their attack related by X% when attacking debuffed enemies. So that's pretty cool. You know, that they, they got a card set right there. Um, you know, not, not too bad right there. Um, in terms of the bundles, though, guys, we got the nine new uh, Awesome Spring Season Festival bundles. So nothing too crazy. I'm not going to, like, you know, go into the bundles too much. I don't think they're really that important. So let's move past that. And we'll, we'll talk about the login bonus. We got the Awesome Spring Festival Special Check-In Part 2. So obviously, the other check-in is still ongoing, guys. We still have the gem login from before. But now we do also have this one as well, where we're going to be getting SSR Pendant, SA Coins. Get this little, like, costume, uh, you know, enhanced box right there. You know, some more SSR Pendant, SA Coins, even UR Pendant as well so definitely a pretty good login you know uh you know make sure you are logging uh in during the event and you'll be able to take advantage of that all right moving on we do also have uh, the part two special missions right here. So this is going to be the missions you want to be doing to get the free Valenti ticket. You also will be able to get a special disaster ticket, which is going to have a uh, selection of characters down here. So in terms of the characters from these guys, I'll probably make a video going over which one you should pick. Actually, that's definitely a good video. Um, yeah, no, uh, not a lot of them are too great. I'll be honest, but there are a few standouts. Like I think this Valenti is definitely a standout. I think, you know, this, uh, Easton could be a standout. Same with this one, even, even this one too, maybe, or, or this blue mono, this blue mono is pretty good too. Uh, for PvE events, actually. But yeah, no, so uh, that's gonna be the uh, special missions right there. Do these uh, right here. So you clear the uh, hideout renovation event for Valenti specifically. You gotta make sure you do that one. I actually made that mistake on my on my free to play account uh, when I was doing it, man. So you wanna make sure you're doing the Valenti one on that. And I'll explain when we get to that event in, in the patch notes, but um, that one's very important. Uh, clear disaster battle two times, clear deathmatch three times, enhance uh, equipment ten times, and participate in PvP three times. So definitely uh, pretty good right there. Alrighty guys, moving on, we got the Special Season Festival Event Part 2 for the Awesome Spring Festival. So, it's just a bunch of, you know, second half stuff here, guys, for the boosting events. Nothing super crazy here in terms of what we're going to be getting. I mean, you know, um, j just your regular boosting event, right? You just click the ones that always have the infinity symbol, so you get, you know, the infinite rewards throughout the event. Um, those are definitely the most important ones. Yeah, moving on, we do our, the uh, hideout renovation. So as I mentioned before, you want to do the Valenti one first right here, the one on the far right, if you want to get the ticket, guys. So make sure you do this uh, on the day one if you want to get everything done day one. You have to make sure you're doing this one. So just bear that in mind. But you can do the rest of them, obviously, as well, right? You, you, uh, you Eventually, you want to do it because you do get another ticket, too. But... Um, but um yeah let's let's see here uh if we do scroll in so yeah you get the special disaster ticket you get a second one you get uh essay coins right there ssr pendants the card packs for the card set and then for the select words you get gifted once and you can select the rewards right there so not too bad uh for sure definitely uh pretty nice right there Alrighty then guys, we do also have the daily missions for this event as well. So every single day you're going to get these daily missions, get these little, uh, you know, items right here. And I don't think they mention it here, but you, you're, you're using these pretty much to craft. Yeah. So right here, how to craft the interior furniture. And it's going to be these materials. You get these one, uh, materials from doing the actual missions every day. Um, you can also get them from the coin shop as well. And then these ones you're going to get from pretty much everything else. So these ones are going to be very easy to get. And then these ones are going to be kind of hard, but um, yeah, that's going to be how that goes. And then we do also have these seven catastrophes designs disaster battle return and exchange shop guys so this is what it's gonna look like you do get eight gems per boss which is good 
um and they pretty much act as a death match so if you guys have ever played like you know og demon belmont all stuff like that um it's going to be kind of like that but with the roxy easton and lilia bosses so you know you have eight gems from that one you have eight gems from this eight gems from that 24 gems total is definitely pretty good from this event guys so definitely take advantage of that um, we do have the uh, the special costume for Lilia, Easton, and also Valenti um, being available with 7 LR coins per boss too, which is definitely very good. Um, you know, they have SA coins, they have 30 SA coins, 30 SA coins is a lot actually. That's pretty good. And then, you know, SSR pendants are there, uh, available as well. So yeah, no, definitely take advantage of this while you have the chance, guys. Um, you know, this is going to be an event that is definitely worth doing um, in terms of the rewards as well. So for sure, that's a really nice one right there. Um, we do have the uh, Force Ogres Part 2 special, uh, you know, uh, dungeon thing, right? Reward dungeon. So we do get the uh, cosmetic materials as well, which is definitely pretty good too. Um, yeah, and then moving on, we do have the uh, fe uh, festival power event as well. So this means that our gems go from two gems to now three gems on these days. So if you're doing the Nighthood boss battle, Monday, Tuesday, you get three. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, deathmatch, Saturday, Sunday, all that good stuff. That's going to be for these. So uh, there you guys go, man. And then uh, another thing as well, guys, we do have the Awesome Spring Festival uh, Fight Festival event. So PvP, you're going to get 50% festival point gain. Um, that's definitely really nice. And this will be applied up to Platinum in Normal Slash Elite PvP. So it is, this is literally for the beginners. If you guys have not gotten to at least Platinum in PvP, take advantage of this event, man. And then we also do have uh, the victory count for the amount of times you play PvP the week. So, you know, definitely make sure you do it right. Obviously, this is going to be really nice. Uh, you know, the rewards you're able to get. Um, they did also update the brawl box as well guys i don't usually do brawl too much but it does you know have a source of gems as well so it's not like you know completely the end of the world i definitely would uh you know uh try and do it whenever you get the chance um but there's gonna be that we do finally also get a battle event as well guys with uh stamina pots you know i don't, I don't really recommend battle events often but if you are low on stamina pots definitely do it and then uh, yeah we got some system updates as well so uh in terms of what we got going on the battle menu improvements so now they actually did move around some of the stuff so the demon king fight is on the top right now and they do mo they move down the equipment to the bottom as well so that that is another uh change they did as well um i think everything else is the same though and then yeah this is in another change that i did mention in my video earlier this week guys so the uh draw equipment uh menu re reorganization sapphire ruby and emerald draws uh will be removed and united to the draw equipment and then uh the boxes will be changed into amber keys on the 415 update and the draw equipment moved to the shop and in the draw menu now so you actually do find this in the summoning menu now which is a little weird but you know you'll eventually will get used to it. eventually we'll get used to it um you know friendship coins did go from 2000 to 5000 as well which is a super big w i think as well being able to stockpile more of those and then uh yeah we just have some final miscellaneous stuff here so uh yeah nothing super important though guys Th this is i guess kind of important you know valenti being a boost unit uh but not that insane though in my opinion not that insane so uh there you guys go man that is going to be the patch notes right there for the update maintenance let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys on the next one man peace out have a great rest of your day guys see you later man